Hey, a pleasant good afternoon, Phantoms fans. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be the next edition of the Ghostly Take, where I will be covering the Lehigh Valley Phantoms as our great coverer, Samantha Weismer, who reports greatly on the team for Flyers Nitty Gritty each game, practically, is going to be sitting with y'all amongst the fans at her season ticket section where she is going to get to actually cheer for the team tonight and not have to be silent in the press box, which it's lovely to report for the games, but I feel that because it is sometimes a struggle to not be able to cheer when your team's just riding high and doing good, where our Phantoms haven't been doing that yet this season, but after a very bad start to put them at 3-7-3 and at the current, they have been doing better in the last 10 at 3-4-3, and so almost a 500 a regulation clip there for the Lehigh Valley Phantoms as they're making some inroads and Felix Sandstrom is kicking butt the entire season. And then also Kirill was sent down. So obviously Sammy Samuel Ursan. That means he is going to be in as soon as well, which adds to the goaltending. Where the Charlotte Checkers are 5 4 and 1 in their last 10 to put them at 6 5 and 1. And 1-1, one one, of course, as they really took advantage of the Phantoms on that Saturday night game. And then the Phantoms smacked them around on Sunday and were able to get the win. The Phantoms, a big bugaboo on their season is obviously their goal differential is a minus 10. They only have a 30 goals for to 40 goals against. Where the Checkers are better in that category and actually have a decent number. I mean, the seven's not one of the best, obviously, goals against averages at... 41 goals, 4 to 34 goals again, but that's much better than <coughs> being, excuse me, a minus 10. So that's been a big issue for the Phantoms. The Phantoms also, obviously, you still don't have a consistent, at times you have a better looking power play, but obviously looks are great, mm -hmm. but you need to have something more than that. You need to produce, you need to get it going in the damn net at a consistent clip to help out your team, and obviously the Phantoms are not the only team doing that. The Philadelphia Flyers in the pros are not doing all too sweet on their power play either. Uh, the penalty kill, on the other hand, in starting games has looked really solid for the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. Now it's about just trying to get the turn. Obviously they've been getting shorthanded goals too as well, which has been a very nice thing to have. Now it's just trying to get goals on the advantage of special teams rather than outscoring your power play um, when you're at the disadvantage. So that's something that the Phantom need to get going. But you got the Swedish duo, the Swedish dynamite duo between Ursan and Sandstrom. Sandstrom's been kicking ass all season. So you want to see him continue to do that as he carries that excess he has into, I would think, playing the checkers tonight, unless if they decide to go with Samuel Ursan to get him some time if he is back. So that, oh, no. Actually, I apologize. I missed this. Um, the Lehigh Valley Phantoms, actually, um, EHL's active winningness winning this goalie, one of the best in the ECHL, arrives from the Reading Royals and Pat Nagel, who's the veteran who I wrote an article about. I'm on Flyers Nitty Gritty if you want to check it out from the Royals. I apologize. I missed that. Well rewarded to uh, be called up. He's been the ECHL's best goalie this year. The Rock in net for the Reading Royals. So obviously that means if he's still up this weekend, as I do my Royal take for this week, he would be uh, playing with the Phantoms. So Kirill Ustamenko and Hayden Hawkey are the guys down there for the Reading Royals right now. So uh, way, way to go, Pat Nagel. I mean, um, he's... 5-1-3, the 263, 926, 196 career wins. He's fifth all time in ECHL history and is first among active goalies. He's an absolute dynamo down there in the ECHL. And now he's gonna get time again in the AHL to try to light it up for the Phantoms. So I wonder if he'll get the nod tonight as a veteran, one of the ECHL's best, or if they'll keep running with Sandy. Either way, I love watching either. I love watching Sandstrom, and I'm really happy that the Reading Royals got Pat Nagel. Talked about that in my article about him, so I missed that. I apologize for that. That move actually happened yesterday. That just went through me. But Pat Nagel up with the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. Hats off to him. Congratulations to him after having a killer start with the Reading Royals. So whoever's in net, I'm confident with. I love the depth that this organization now has after having a bunch of bleak years in my 24, now almost 25 years on this earth. 
they did not have many good years in it when it comes to goaltending and having success and having guys in the pipe. Now the Flyers have depth in goaltending and a veteran guy that is very helpful to have for your ECHL and very solid to have is depth for your AHL in Pat Nagel, who now has a chance to maybe get a game with the Lehigh Valley Phantoms, just like Kirill did while he was up. So everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. This has been the latest edition of the Ghostly Take, a preview to the Lehigh Valley Phantoms playing the Charlotte Checkers. If they play their game and play to the capacity that they did of that Sunday game, I don't care who's in that, they're going to be able to beat the Checkers again. The Phantoms just have to find some consistency. They've been better, like I said, in their last 10 at 3-4-3. and three. Now it's about trying to make your next 10 at least at the 500 mark, if not maybe even a game over, and then keep building from that. I'm just trying to think realistic here from how we look this year and not overthink anything to be kind of over-predicting anything. So again, be safe, be well, and I'll see you all at the game tonight that are going to be there because I'll be covering it for Flyers Nitty Gritty tonight. Peace out, everybody. Subscribe down below in the sub button or on the easy-to-use widget up above. Let's go, Phantoms. Let's take it to those checkers and beat them at their own game tonight. Peace out, everybody.